Good afternoon, yep, yeah, just about at lunchtime here. I thought I would show you some books that I found this morning in the charity shop. Tuesday morning is traditionally my day for charity books or for charity shops, so I usually look for a few books. And after watching Tracy Fox's video last night, I had a better idea of what would actually be useful. So I will start with the organic kitchen garden. It was two pounds, which is actually very reasonable. Um, I do like gardening anyway, so I will actually get more use than you can imagine out of this. I do grow fruit and vegetables here. Now, some of these pages, you've got lovely full coverage, but it is slightly glossy. So I, if I was using this maybe to make an envelope, I might put a light coating of gesso and then collage it up over the top. So I might make a video just showing you how I would use those. We've got smaller images and then we have, um, like I think that even that's a lovely background page, with Onion Family. So it's a lot of green. So if you're into um, gardening and botanical journals, you might get some use from that. So that's lovely. A bit of yellow here. And that will be a lovely page to use, but again, I like coating of gesso just to take back the sheen a little. It's not overly glossy, but you can see in the light that there is a little bit of a shine to it. So that was two pounds. Well spent. I love this. This is Gardening with Colour. Um, it's a small book, but it is packed. No matter what colour your journal is, you're going to find little images that you can use as focal points through here. Again, there is a slight sheen to it. It's not overly glossy, but I think as a little focal point on a tag or a journal card, that would be fine. Some beautiful plants, beautiful colours, so I really like that one. So that's Gardening with Colour, £2. And then we have... The gardening year, which is similar to this one. Lots of images, lots of little drawings. You know, you could make a lot of, again, slightly glossy, but not too much. But my goodness, it would take you a long time to use up all these pages. And there's lots of lovely little illustrations as well as the photographs, which I think is really good and no matter what color you're doing you're going to find something in there so that is the gardening year not sure what year these are from but i don't think they're that old um 2001 so it's not that old then i find this the complete irish wildlife again lots of images of plants wildflowers, there's everything in there. Then we've got the slugs and bugs, if that's what you like. Um, I did see some lovely bee images. We've got the butterflies, the moths. Again, these would all be lovely little focal points. Lots of birds. And again, these pages, they're not overly glossy, but as a focal point, I think they could work okay. Just lovely images. So that's that one. This is one I picked up um, a couple of weeks ago. I thought I'd show you. The plates in this are from 1787 to 1807. And um, the book, this book itself was printed in 1979. The, the paper in here is perfect for journaling. It's completely matte and each of the right hand pages has a lovely delicate image. So, I mean, they would make lovely pages in your journal or you could cut from the images and use them to make, well these ones would be quite large tags because this is a big book. But the paper is 
perfect it's so matte and there's a slight discoloration but not an awful lot so i just love this book right there's just about every plant that i can think of in there really so the images are just gorgeous so i love that one and then i have this one this is arthur hellyer's all color gardening book this is an old book um, this one is from 1972 and we have the black and white images again this is perfect journaling paper it is matte these blue images are just lovely and then you have the different coloured ones along the bottom but as you go through it you can see there's a lot of florals that would just be lovely uses tags and focal points and if you're doing your collage and even those pages would be just lovely in a journal too so this book is in quite good condition there's not that much discoloration on it um, yeah so I do like that one the other thing I find oh yeah I find this inside is that which book was it yeah it was inside this book and I just thought I'd keep it out because it's so pretty and I can almost hear those birds singing. Oh, that was just pretty. The other thing I bought was a necklace. I wouldn't wear it. It's not for wearing. But what I will do is I will cut lengths of this and then use them. And this is my box of tricks. Attach a length to the little ring thread through my ribbons and that's how I make my tags for the spines of my journal. I always like to have a length of beads going through. I bought this one particularly because I like these discs. There's a couple of these discs on it and I think they look lovely. So as you can see I have a thing about picking up jewellery and I will I take it all apart. Like even something as simple as that hanging on a, on a bulb clip on the edge of a page. It's just so pretty. So you don't need to spend a fortune on charms. Build up a stack, a stack of broken jewellery and just take it apart. This is one I've already taken apart. So as you can see, I've got the black glass beads and I have spacers. And if you ever go to buy spacers, you'll find they are actually quite dear. But if you buy some necklaces and take them apart you'll get a supply and they won't cost you a fortune and here's another one I've taken this one all apart so we have little gold beads so yeah when you're in your charity shops don't just look at the books go and look at the jewellery and you never know what you'll find and this is another one I used the length of this going down the spine of a journal just hanging down and a few wee ribbons and it just lifts it. So. so that's all I have to show you today. I'm going to go now. I have a page swap to do that I haven't started yet and that's what today is going to be all about. So thanks for watching. Bye.